confirmed tornado. We know that it is a tornado that has caused significant damage over in Allendale County. Uh, we know that there has been a tornado in Orangeburg County. We have not been able to get any updates from the National Weather Service on the amount of damage that's happening there. You're watching News 19 at 7 on WLTX as we continue to follow severe weather that is moving across the Midlands. Every portion of the Midlands has either been under a severe thunderstorm watch, a tornado watch or warning for at least the last five hours since early this afternoon we have been watching storms roll throughout the area. Many areas seeing lots of heavy rain, maybe some strong winds, uh, but the most damage, as we just mentioned, again, down in Allendale County as they're beginning the process of weathering the storm and cleaning up. We're going to head to one of the areas that see significant flooding every time we have weather like this, and that is down in Five Points, the Five Points area in Columbia. That's where we find News 19's Eleanor Tabone. That's right, Darcy. Now, we are here out the back of Taps Outpost in Five Points. I want to show you the flooding here. Now, look how deep, Darcy, this water is. You can see my ankles are covered, right? That's how deep the water is here. We were here, Darcy, maybe... 40 minutes ago and I can tell you that water that I'm standing in now wasn't as deep as it is now it's just continuing to pool and as we show you this water is the water that's flowing into the back of the building of Taps Outpost in Five Points and it just continues to flow it's not stopping it's not letting up and as you see business owners here are shop vacuuming they're just they're continuing to try and get this water out of the building but as you can see, the water is continuing to pull. It is continuing to pull here out the back of Taps at Post, and they're just not seeing any, it's just not relenting here. The storm drains, they're overflowing, and the businesses are doing the best they can to ensure that this water at the back of the building doesn't flow to the front where a majority of the businesses and work places are. But we will continue to keep you updated and monitor the conditions out here. For rolling updates, head to the WLTX website. Darcy. Eleanor, thank you so much, and you make a very good point. We want to remind our viewers to make sure that they have the News 19 mobile app downloaded. We know with this much rain in some areas and still strong winds and even the possibility of tornadoes, there may be a point in time when you lose power. You don't want to lose contact with us, so make sure you have the News 19 mobile app downloaded, your cell phone charged, and then that way, no matter what's happening across the area, you'll be able to keep up to date with it. Let's go 